Hello everyone, this is Colossians. We are back with another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about the life and death of this corner. And a quick shout out to my website, seansgogroup.com. We are only two members away from our next goal in which we will be giving a simul on stream for all of you guys. So before we look at the life and death, we really need to figure out how does this happen? This actually comes about from a 3-3 invasion. I do consider this life and death to be a single digit Q problem. So if you are a double digit Q, it's okay if you don't remember it the first couple times, just know that it is something you will want to learn eventually. If you're single digit Q, you must know this life and death problem. This shape comes about when we play the 3-3 and connect right here, but our opponent decides to ignore. Now we can surround the corner, push the ice space, and then push the life and death. So before we play this move, I actually wanna add two more black stones. This is to make the outside a lot simpler to understand so we can focus solely on the life and death on the inside. However, when you play this shape in your actual games, you need to take the outside stones into account. This shape is known as the J group or the large pig's mouth. I personally like the name the large pig's mouth because I think it sounds funnier. So when looking at a life and death problem, the way I usually tell my students to approach it is reduce the eye shape first. So if we're reduce the eye shape, our opponent blocks, we never connect right here. The reason is this stone will never ever be an eye. So even if I ignore and white takes, this first line move is always going to be a false eye. So when you're reading reduce the eye space, you can reduce the eye space from the edge right here first, but don't save the stone. So let's continue our eye space reduction by playing right here. Let's say our opponent blocks to keep the eye space. Now there's no more reductions. So we wanna look for the vital point. The vital points are usually tiger's melts, one, two points or forcing moves. So the moves to consider are here, 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 and here. So let's start with the forcing moves first. I have a play in Atari, my opponent connects. Now this is a bulky five, white is dead. So let's back up one move. And as white, let's try to counter black. Atari, take, there, that's a self Atari, capture. Okay, so that didn't work. So immediately we don't have to read the rest of them. This move just worked. If we try to do anything else, there is no other option for white. So you don't have to waste time reading all the other options because the first move we looked at happened to work. We also check any of the counters and we say, if we play this, white is dead. So let's back up one white move. Now try to counter it. Again, the vital points are the forcing moves, tiger's mouths, and one, two points. I like this move because this is not only a one, two point, but also a tiger's mouth. Now let's go back to black, try to reduce the eye space, expand the eye space, try to play a vital point, and you see white is absolutely alive. So let's back up one and try to counter it. So let's try to go here first, white connects, and white is absolutely alive. So this means after this move, there is no problem for white. So white is absolutely alive. So let's back up one and try to counter it. At this point, a good strategy is my opponent's vital point is my vital point. So let's start with where our opponent played to live. And we could try here. So here, I think the best response for white is probably to go right here. So now let's reduce the eye space and Y plays a vital point, and you can see that it looks like Y has two eyes. What if we play this first? So now, as black, let's try reduce the eye space. As white, expand the eye space. Black Ataris, and you can see it's a dead shape. So again, let's back up with white and try to counter. My opponent's vital point is my vital point. And now reduce the eye space. Uh-oh, looks like white lived. So let's back up. My opponent's vital point is my vital point. If I go right here, and this happens to be the key move of this entire corner. If I go right here and white connects, it's a self Atari and this group dies. So white must take, and now you can see white is dead. So let's quickly review so that way we can understand what just happened. We reduce the eye space first and then play the vital point. If we try to reduce the eye space again, our opponent will play the vital point first and make life. After this vital point, white has several options to try to live, but the idea is no matter what white plays, this vital point will exist. White plays here, my opponent's vital point is my vital point. We can actually play right here and you can see white is still dead. And finally, if our opponent plays a vital point right here, all we have to do is simply reduce the eye space and Atari. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. 